The perfect girl. She doesn't have a best boyfriend. Christian, traditionalist, only girlfriends. Love nature, faithful, honest, and knows how to cook. Wait, what do you mean I'm not supposed to be friends with the person I'm dating? I thought that was the whole spiel. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video for the day. We're going back in our slash uh, incel tier. So, you know, get your uh, special earbuds on because we're going back into the echo chamber of sorts. So, if you guys would like to be absolutely amazing show your support and see more videos like this one in the near future be sure to hit the like button leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions because that algorithm engagement very much does help out the channel a shit ton and if you guys have not already subscribe also i'm happy to say this is the first video i've recorded in a week that is not a re-record after the uh, audio issue of sorts so yippee uh, yeah i fixed it for you guys no need to thank me trust me nobody wanted you to do it in the first place the ideal woman for sane men in 2024 no of low body count again cook not active on social media yep you're not allowed to talk to friends eh, eh. nope nope well emotionally stable no large space between them guy friends splits the bills and without makeup yeah meanwhile your dumb butt gonna be going nuclear the second they see anything of the sort at remotely close to turnoffs regarding men being participates in incel tier forums yeah you know god forbid you happen to have that ohio incel who plotted to end the lives of women at a college is sentenced to six years in prison i is well Welcome to F Around and Find Out 101, uh, Lesson 1, don't do it. I swear to God I'm about to freaking lose it. I just opened YouTube and look what was one of the first videos I was recommended was. What happens to your body if you never have it? Hey, Dingus, ain't these based on your own internet search history? Because if you opened up a blanket thing of YouTube, all you get is Mr. Beast and The Daily Show, last I checked. No rule. No insult your posters allowed. And no one is allowed to have selfies on their profile. If you know you are truly ugly, then you wouldn't be here. I may rearrange some of the rules now. Any recommendations? Also, no saying Chad or Stacy. I'm fine with that one. Instead, say attractiveies. And don't say normies. Just say averages. That's a little weird on that one, but okay. Because uh, you could get this place banned. Another new rule. No one here is allowed to be in a relationship. If you are in one, then it has to be mentioned that it is a toxic one, would you get that and insulted for your looks and cheated on? We won't allow humble bragging. In order to post here, you must all be suffering to looksism, cause why else be here if you aren't? Love me or hate me, I said nothing but the truth. Even though I have heavy hitters like Nala Ray know this, although they don't want to admit it. If OF never existed, more than 70% of American females over the age of 18 would be homeless and poor because they don't have any skills. They only have their bodies, nothing else. Adrian Knight, February. 2024. I actually find the eyes on the right more attractive. Tee The guys on the left look mean and aggressive. I don't know what it is about the guys on the right side, but some of y'all look sleep deprived. I can just tell. Also, isn't one of those eyes on the left Leonardo DiCaprio from Titanic? The guy I was seeing left and blocked me after having S with me. I mean, it kind of looks like he also took you out to Texas Roadhouse or, wait, no, not Texas Roadhouse. I was raising canes. I don't know. That bread got me thinking things. Dude. Chad pumped and dumped her, and yet he still apologized. Dude got what he wanted and then dipped. These women will never learn. That's why y'all gonna be posting in true virgins forever. Of course they would give chance to dumb stupid douchebag. They'll give a chance to anyone they find conventionally attractive. And attractive guys know this. 
They fake it till they make it, and then dip once they scarred. I don't get it. It isn't her fault for having S with him, as well as his fault for ghosting her. Like, don't have S if you're not in a committed relationship, or talk about what you want from them beforehand, like a friends with benefits or a whatever. It is simple. She put herself in this situation and people are saying he coerced her, like she doesn't have a brain or isn't in control of her actions. Yeah, that's what you get for casually sleeping around as a sub-5 woman. <laughs> Lamau. The dark gods have truly sent me some worthy life fuel for the day to light it up. I thank you for this pose, Toby. Do guys happen to do douchebag moves? Yes. Do women happen to do douchebag moves? Yes. Does highlighting one negate the other? No. Do a lot of people understand that? Heck no. I will say this though, that, that food does kind of look pretty good, so I gotta find a Raisin Cane's near me because I can go for some fried chicken and uh, whatever their sauce is. I don't know, her good, her good things about the food. Women have had more power than they know what to deal with. Yeah, and you had way too much internet connection for your own good, sir. We, as a society, are giving women too much power they don't deserve or know how to deal with. We must make six figures work out, look good, and be interesting for that to compete. Why aren't we the prize? Women nowadays could tell a man that he is worthless or stupid, and that would be his truth for at least the next two years. We should pay less attention to women as a society. Even the women would gain from this. How? Explain that. No, you. but that's where you end the post because you don't want to explain, is it? Men of brain cells, that of which I'm guessing y'all's is sharing, what thing do female co-workers do that is not quite SH, but you wish that they would stop doing so you can be comfortable at work? None of my female co-workers under 30 Say hello to me. All of the middle-aged women can manage to be civil. It's not SH or H at all, but it is pretty obvious. They, like, won't even make eye contact when they walk by my desk. They are so poorly socialized that it is disgusting. Oh, actually, I could recant. Back when I first joined the organization, one was into me, solid beta bucks potential, nut attraction, and her method of coming on to me was to make a tea, offer me some, a bend over, and pour it while wearing a low cut top. Of course, I just thought that she was wearing a low cut top, being kind, but then my manager asks, So, when are you two going to ask X out? You you know she's doing that because she is into you, right? Imagine me wearing tight pants, thrusting my chicken in some void's face. Double standards are disgusting. Taxes are so clucked, and we shouldn't have to pay for them. Okay, honestly, we can both agree that taxes do suck booty. There is nothing more clucked than working your butt off just to, to give the money you earned to a girl who is enjoying another man. She is basically saying your genes are too trash to reproduce with, but she needs your resources, effectively making you a beta cluck who erases Chad's offspring. The draft is even more clucked. Why should we die for girls who don't even want to have S with us? I know for a fact that, like, the, the little portion of the people that watch my videos that actually lived during the time when they did the draft and everything, like Vietnam, even those guys are probably thinking, what the shit is this person talking about? I don't want to fight for my country. Fighting for my country means being sent to the front lines and getting PTSD while my looks match is at home in the kitchen, uh, moaning as Trad, uh, Chad does the stuff so that I cannot say on YouTube. Look, I know that taxes do kind of suck. The draft also kind of sucked last I checked because, like, you kind of told you, okay, your name's called, you need to go into the army whether you wanted it or not. 
Uh, if you don't, we're coming after you and giving you a fine or jail sentence. That kind of did suck. But lo and behold, that one at least was like 40 years ago. I don't know how long ago the Vietnam War is. Every time I try to remember how long 70s ago was, uh, it is uh, not a good memory when I remember how long ago that is now. I could definitely agree that taxes do suck, but it kind of feels like you're saying that there's a tax for dating women. Stop it. Get some help. But with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit the like button, leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions, and if you guys have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. Also, check out the playlist in the end card. If you like this video, there's a whole bunch of more stuff that you might like. But with that, I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye! Thank <laughs> you.